Today I want to deal with the topic, don't stay a babe. Don't stay a babe. Alright, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 20 says this, Brethren, do not be children in understanding, however in malice be babes, but in understanding be mature. So what's Paul say? Listen, there are going to be um, issues. We are going to sit down and have issues of unforgiveness. And Paul says, listen, you're going to stay babes in that thing. It's not as easy to deal with um, somebody who's hurt you or offended you. All right, where you can sit down and say, listen, I can operate in God's love in this thing. That's going to come with serious maturity. But he's saying to the average believer, listen. Do not stay as babes in understanding. Understanding what? The principles of God's word. If I understand the principles of God's word, if I understand what God has called me to do, I know how to apply the principles into everything that I need. I will become mature. The problem with the body of Christ is one simple thing. We do not know the word. The Bible says that my people perish, perish through lack of knowledge. We don't have the knowledge of the word. We don't understand the principles and therefore we have issues. And so this morning I want to challenge each and every believer. Measure your heart. How much of the word do you know, number one? Number two, how much of the word are you trying to apply in your life? You know, I've met so many Christians who really don't know the word. You know, when they come and they, and what's scary is some of them are even counselors or pastors even. And when I sit down with them and I say, but the word says this, they didn't even know that the word said that. And this is a big concern that we are settling for a lower standard of Christianity in our nation. We need to sit down and say, God, I'm not going to be a baby anymore. I am going to learn the principles, get to know the principles and know what God is calling us to do. Then I'm going to apply the principles that I have learned. You see, you're never going to get the results that you need unless you've applied the principle. And so this morning, let us ask God to help us not to settle for babe status. Let us trust God that our understanding become godly, mature, and solid in everything that we do in Jesus' name. Amen. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So right now, when we come around the table, let us ask God to help us to grow up. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us and assist us in everything that we do. Do not remain a babe in your understanding. Because the devil will use that. He will corrupt that. And he will make life very difficult for you. Because you are not applying the word of God as you're supposed to. So refuse today to say, I am not going to stay where I'm at. I'm going to grow in God. And I'm going to move forward this year in Jesus name. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you right now that you forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. Lord, I ask you please to cleanse us and to wash us white as snow. But Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that we are not going to be the same again. Lord, that we are going to see the power of God move, the blessing of the Lord be made manifest in everything that we do. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for your blessing and anointing upon us. Lord, I pray that as we take of communion today, Holy Spirit, you are welcome to move in our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for paying the price and sending the Holy Spirit to help us and assist us. But God, I pray that we will not remain babes as we take of communion. Lord, I thank you that we will recognize the price that was paid. And Lord, we will make a decision to grow up in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Father, we thank you for the dunamis power of God that flows through our physical bodies. I command every form of sickness to leave our bodies in Jesus' name. 
Father, I thank you that we walk with divine power, supernatural ability, and we command every symptom to go in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit that we are healed. And Lord, we release the power of God into our bodies now. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, it's Saturday. And so I want to just say, it's a wonderful weekend. Amen. All right. And so we are going to pray right now. And we are going to believe God for our families. So let's pray and believe God. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our families. Father, I thank you that you are moving by your spirit in each one of our lives. Lord, I pray for every single family, every member, Lord, that they will be not only secure and blessed and, and, and in the right place with you, but Lord, I pray that they will know their purpose, destiny, and, and Lord, that they will be obedient to what you are telling them to do. Lord, I thank you that as we release the power of God and blessing and the anointing of God over our families, Lord, that we will see mighty moves in each one. And Lord, that our families will not be the same. Lord, that there will be an absolute shift in our families. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing upon them. And Lord, I pray right now that every single one of our families will come to know you. Lord, that they will know you in a special and mighty way. And Lord, that there will be a supernatural flow of your spirit in their lives. Father, I thank you, Lord, for a supernatural flow in each one of our family members. Any person who is not born again, Father, we call them in. Father, we thank you that our families are saved and they are going to heaven. Lord, I pray right now that each one will not only do what you've called them to do, but God, that they will stand with might and power, no matter what the age. Lord, that they will go and accomplish what you've called us to do on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to pray for the drought in the Eastern Cape. Lord, right now we pray over the drought in the Eastern Cape. Lord, we call for the rain. Lord, I thank you that rain come to the Eastern Cape and drought be broken. Lord, we declare your blessing and anointing over this area. And Father, I thank you that Paul Elizabeth Eastern Cape will have an abundance of rain in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing upon each and every one of us in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. Tonight is a guest speaker, so please get ready, 7 o'clock. And then tomorrow morning, I'm right back with communion. Amen. All right, let's get into our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might, with valor, and go and do what God has called you to do. In Jesus' mighty name.